Hello folks, 2023 is well and truly underway and this year looks like it's going to follow on where 2022 left off. There are going to be cosy games coming out of our ears and I for one cannot wait. I have quite a few videos planned that I just know you're going to love so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. They are going to give us all a lot to talk about. But back to this video. I want to give you some idea of the cosy games that are being released this year that I think are worth playing. Here are my top eight. First off, there is Minico's Night Market, developed by Miauzo Games and published by Humble Games. The game is set on the island of Mount Fugu. It is a narrative-driven social simulation adventure game which features cats. For me personally, this ticks all the right boxes and I cannot wait to play this. Minoko's Night Market is a game that celebrates Japanese culture while introducing a heartwarming story about friendship, tradition and many, many cats. Play as Minoko, a curious girl who has just arrived at her new home on a struggling Japanese-inspired island at the base of Mount Fugu. The superstitious locals on the island worship the sun cat Abe. What was always thought to be a long-told myth has the town puzzled as sightings of Abe have begun to surface among the residents of the island in recent days. Discover the secrets behind the town and restore the struggling village to its former glory. All the while, manage your daily activities, complete various jobs, venture on whimsical quests and craft peculiar items in preparation for the weekly night market. At the night market, you can befriend and barter with dozens of townsfolk and sell almost anything you make and find. Minoko's night market is coming to PC and Nintendo Switch. Next up, we have Nayad. Or would you just pronounce that letter by letter? N-A-I-A-D? You let me know in the comments which is the right way to say it. It's a game that's developed by High Warp. This is a game about nature and things do not get more chilled and cosy than this. Immerse yourself in a relaxing, minimalist and colourful exploration adventure. Flow with Nayad across a mysterious river and interact with its fauna and flora to discover little secrets. Enjoy a wholesome experience with an original and dreamy visual style. Learn to swim like a duck, dive like a fish, dash like a frog and meet other adorable friends like butterflies, rabbits, turtles, snakes and crocodiles. I did say adorable, right? Help them find their way and avoid obstacles. A journey in 16 episodes that will take you through beautiful and strange places like a spring, a forest, a cave, a lake, an orchard, until you reach the sea. The game itself is short, at around three hours of gameplay, but if you're looking for a maximum chill and cosy game, then do check it out. It will be released on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. Coffee Talk 2 Hibiscus and Butterfly is my third entry. It is a heart-to-heart -heart talking simulator developed and published by Toge Productions. Dust off your coffee machine and prepare your warmest smile to meet your customers again in the second episode of the much-loved coffee brewing sim. It's time to revisit your favourite late night coffee shop and reconnect with your fantasy friends over a warm drink or two. You are a barista and your customers aren't always humans. Listen to their stories and influence their hearts with a warm cup of coffee or two. The game is set in an alternate present day Seattle where humans, orcs, elves and other races have been coexisting since the beginning of time. Explore the world through the stories told by your customers, one cup at a time. The game features a chill, lo-fi atmosphere where you can immerse yourself in the relaxing coffee shop atmosphere. It's raining outside, brew yourself a warm drink, play that lo-fi chill hop beats and listen to the coffee talk. Coffee Talk 2 will be released on PlayStation, Xbox, PC and Nintendo Switch. My fourth entry is Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals, developed by Night School Studio. 
Set five years after the events of the critically acclaimed narrative adventure game Oxen Free, Riley returns to her hometown of Kamena to investigate mysterious radio signals. What she finds is more than she bargained for. TVs turn on and off, planes lose radar, radio stations can't broadcast through the static, and naturally occurring electromagnetic waves are suddenly causing interference with electrical and radio equipment. As you play, you'll shape every step of the story through your choices. How you choose to deal with the supernatural events at hand will forever alter the future. Shape everything through your conversations and dialogue choices. Forge a deep friendship with an old acquaintance from high school or opt to ignore a lost fisherman in need. Your choices impact who Riley becomes, your relationships and the story options available to you at every turn. It will be released on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch and PC. My fifth entry is Spirit Tea which is a simulation role-playing game developed by Cheese Master Games and published by No More Robots. I have played the demo and if you would like to check that game play out, the link is appearing at the top right of your screen now. How would I sum this game up? Think Stardew Valley crossed with Yokai Watch. In Spirit Tea, you play as a writer who has moved to a small town in the countryside in hopes that the change of scenery will help you finish writing your book. Unfortunately for you, this particular town has been going through some difficult times due to natural disasters, strange accidents and mysterious occurrences. After drinking from an ancient teapot, you gain the ability to temporarily see into the spirit world, only to discover that the town is haunted by a bunch of angry spirits. It's up to you to reopen the old bathhouse on the mountain where the spirits once rested and to search high and low to find and convince them to soak their stress away. The bathhouse is an ancient spirit building hidden up in the mountain and it's up to you to clean it up and fill it full of customers. Once the spirits are in the bathhouse, you'll need to clean towels, chop wood to heat the baths and seat the spirits with their friends for the ultimate bathing experience. Each spirit has their own preferences, so you'll need to get to know them all and upgrade the bathhouse to become the best bathhouse keeper around. Spirit Tea will be available for PC, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. My sixth entry is Fay Farm. It's a game published by Phoenix Labs. Fay Farm is a cosy farm sim RPG for one to four players and it will be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Escape to the fairy tale life of your dreams, craft, cultivate and decorate to grow your shared homestead and use spells to explore the enchanted island of Azoria. Typical to a game in this genre, each character has three main power bars to manage, health, stamina and mana and you can earn experience points that will allow you to level up aspects of your character like magic or tool usage. You'll forge new bonds with residents, discover fey magic and trek across mysterious realms. And as the seasons change, you'll use all you've learned and discovered together to restore the world around you. My seventh entry is Blanc developed by Casus Ludi and published by Gearbox Publishing. It is an artistic, cooperative adventure that follows the journey of a wolf cub and fawn stranded in the vast, snowy wilderness. They must come together in an unlikely partnership to find their families. Immerse yourself in the stunningly beautiful black and white world of Blanc, completely hand-drawn on paper in 2D before coming to life in 3D. Blanc focuses on the journey and the experience of the animals with text-free gameplay and storytelling, allowing you to dive completely into its wondrous world. Each animal has their own unique strengths that complements the other, which you'll need to make use of to navigate through the snowy landscapes. Using only two buttons and movement, this simple gameplay allows for anyone to play and follow their journey home build a relationship together locally on the same screen or from far away with online play. Blanc will be released on PC and Nintendo Switch on the 14th of February. 
My final entry is Botany Manor, developed by Balloon Studios and published by Whitethorn Games. Botany Manor is an exploration puzzle game where you play as a retired botanist called Arabella Green. It's set in the 19th century, which was a time of great scientific discovery. Explore your house and gardens filled with botanical research to figure out the ideal habitat for a collection of forgotten flora. Grow each plant to discover the mysterious qualities they hold. The puzzles you solve in Botany Manor come in the shape of growing plants. Find seeds, pot them and carry your seedlings to the right environment. The plants you need to grow are fussy and finding their ideal habitat will sometimes require you to think outside the box. There are many interactive items scattered around that the house can help you achieve this. Room by room, you learn more about the life and career of Arabella and the challenges she faces as a woman navigating her scientific career. Botany Manor will be released on PC and Nintendo Switch. So there you have it folks, my top eight cozy games to look out for this year. Let me know in the comments if any of these games interest you and if there are any other games that are due for release this year that you are hyped for. While you're in that area, please hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel if you have yet to do so, as there will be more video game content to come. Thank you for watching. Have a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now.